right, Milwaukee's 27-27, 16-inch M18 chainsaw. So we got over a year into this baby. Unlike the other reviews you've seen, this one's actually been quite used. I, I, I don't use it every day, obviously, or every week, but when I need it, it's absolutely Johnny on the spot. So let's go over a couple things. It weighs about 10 and a half pounds. Milwaukee says they can, it basically has got more power than a 40cc uh, chainsaw. I have not tested that because this is actually the only chainsaw that I actually own. And uh, right now, it's, it's the only one I actually need. I do not cut down trees every day. I am not a tree limber by trade. So, um, if I, a customer needs something limbed out, I did take down a tree for someone. So, you'll see this here in a little bit. But I'm not going to show you the actual tree taking down because it was dangerous. I just didn't want to put my GoPro on. I just need to get the job done. So, you can see the aftermath. And you saw the intro and that's just that's basically how it goes so a couple specs on this uh yeah 10 and a half pounds 16 inch uh chain our bar basically it, i mean it's super simple you guys nothing nothing at all to go you got your brake right here so if you push it just like that means it obviously stops the chain from moving and then pull it forward so you can you know you got the there we go so it's i got it a little tight on there as well um bar lube right here i do it's obviously it does leak out even if i say if you fill it up and just want to have it on standby don't do that it does leak out it did leak out and as it should i mean it's that's what it's there for and you can see um, you know it's got some pretty good use to it um i do not uh baby my tools um you know when i'm when i'm clearing out brush and stuff it is what it is it's going to get scratched all that good stuff so a uh, couple quick things you got your you got your uh trigger right here with your safety it is a um a variable speed trigger so you can you know for and if you wanted to go slower speed with a chainsaw you could do that i mean there's i mean it's super simple operations um you could put it in one, it's got a spot for up to 12 amp hour battery because that's that's what we got here this is not an mx fuel or anything like that so that's what i use it with you get crazy you know i can get a lot of work done it's it's super it's super uh um i think it took me that that i, I can't i'll say probably in the video uh here but it's you can get a lot of work done with 12 amps that's for sure uh that's i mean just a regular chainsaw 16 inch bar like i said this is absolutely convenient this is yeah it's not gonna it's not gonna replace your husqvarna you know 20 you know what you know it's it if you use chainsaws every day you probably should still buy this because it's so convenient i've had a couple customers hey you got a chainsaw real quick and you know a quick quick fee and you can just plop it in there's no gas there's no mixing fuel so convenient it's this it is absolutely it's almost a necessity in the back of my uh oh crap uh toolbox in the back of my truck just in case i run into a you know a tree that's down in the road or anything like that it's it absolutely does its job i've had to sharpen the chain a couple times i do have a lot of uh, amp hours through this because of cutting down certain things it is what it is you can see it's you know it's not new at all um and i use my tools bought and paid for by me not not a sponsored video by any means i mean i don't know what else i can really tell you guys um, you can see, you know, I've only used it with, you know, six amp hour battery and up above. I haven't tried any five amp hours or below that. It's not really worth it. Um, yeah, you make sure you use your, uh, make sure you use proper uh, protection. Um, you know, always pants, you know, you know, glasses, all your face shields, all that good stuff. Uh, it does feel a little bit, even though at 10 and a half pounds, it does feel, you know, it's kind of like a toy. Um, I know it's not, it's a chainsaw, but you know it does i don't know it's you know you, you think of it it's plastic so that's the only down i mean i i it's not even a, it's not even a downer the only downer is the tool that it came with which um you know you can adjust it's a half inch plus the screw to adjust the let's get this around here chain tension and taking in um the cover off to actually you know take the chain off if you need to if it does come off that tool snapped um, I do have it actually had two pieces in here somewhere. So that tool did snap. That's the only bad thing about this tool um, is this, the, the cheap, the cheap. No, it does have a great spot for it. This is absolutely fantastic spot for it, but it did break and it snapped. So I have to get a new one. I've been just been using my, uh, I've just been using my impact and just taking it out. 
Um, just keep it tight. Now the chain does like to come off if uh, it's not tight for sure, like pretty much any chainsaw. But other than that, I mean, it's man, it's super simple, super operation. This is an A plus for Milwaukee. It's, they knocked it out of the park because great power, hardly ever bogs down. It just gets it done as long as you have the chains you know pretty sharp it's it'll eat with through what you need to eat through you guys there's not much else i can say i'll roll the other video here for me knocking down that tree um over a year into it i would definitely recommend this tool again uh bought and paid for and it looks like i need to tighten the chain again <laughs> so safety first right so all right to this all right so <clears throat> Obviously, I didn't video myself while I was doing it, uh, cutting the tree down, because it's, it's pretty dangerous work. I'm not a professional tree, um, what do you want to call it, tree service. So, well, technically I am since I'm getting paid for this, but uh, not really. I don't advertise this. It's not my forte. I don't have the correct tools to do this. Do not try this at home, because it's dangerous. Um, there was one branch that <laughs> came back down, and uh, if it wasn't for the actual tree itself, it would have knocked me right off the ladder. So make sure you have the proper training and proper harnesses and everything like that. So, but, oh, excuse me. We've got some more chainsaw to do. Cut up all these branches and then they go in dump trailer. Obviously I've got the other trailer here as well, uh, just for support, batteries, you know, all that good stuff. So we are about four hours into this right now. Um, and obviously, you know, it's one man. I don't have anybody here. This is just a side hustle to the side hustle kind of thing, but I'm making progress. So this is just a quick job site. Say hi to my shadow. Milwaukee chainsaw. I will say I, I, it's, it's paid for itself. It caught, it's 400 bucks. I think it comes with, it comes with a 12 amp hour battery. Definitely pays for itself. Uh, I think I got a, a, a one year review coming out on it or either it's already depending on when this video comes out It's already posted or it's uh, About to be posted. So Yeah, I got a 28 footer over there for the uh, the tall stuff, but it came down pretty good I still got to cut everything up and the main thing is is you can see how far away my dump trailer is so Try to get your dump trailer to try to get your disposal bin or whatever you want as close to the work area as possible because it, it matters It really does matter so let's uh, let's get ahead and let's, let's start uh, cutting this stuff up. I guess still have to take off a couple more cuts on there. I'm not taking out the stump entirely uh, because we'll be doing um, probably a fence. Uh, we might be re re like just ripping out the stump itself and then doing the fence over again, or we might just be leaving it. The customers don't know yet. So let's get into it. <laughs> 